Hello and welcome to today's live coaching call and community conversation. Today we are going to be talking about autophagy or autophagy, tomato, tomato, however you want to pronounce it. I, I pronounce it autophagy. We're going to talk about what that is and how we can tell if we are fasting in a way uh, to help ensure autophagy is taking place. So welcome. If you are new, my name is Diane Parham. I'm the creator of the online course and community, the intermittent fasting for today's aging woman. I just looked over at the comment section. So many of you who are here and already commenting are starting with us on the first super excited to have you. Uh, just in case you're interested, the new course is starting on October the 1st. Registration will close on September the 30th at 4 p.m. Central Standard Time. I will post a comment in the comment section for Facebook and YouTube so you can find out more if you're interested or you can join us by registering at the link. Uh, my name is Diane Parham. I am the creator of the Intermittent Fasting for Today's Aging Woman. We talk about all things here for us as aging women so that we can start to make decisions for our future and our future self so that we can, in fact, wake up every day looking and feeling our best and living our most authentic life. So let's get into today's conversation. If you are joining us on YouTube, please make sure you're subscribed so that you will have access to the comment section and you can leave a comment. If you're joining us on Facebook, please make sure you're following us over there as well. That way you'll be notified when we schedule a live call and you'll know what the topic of conversation is. Okay. Autophagy. It is is our amazing body's ability when we create the environment for our body to go in and destroy unwanted or damaged cells, regenerate newer and healthier cells. So that is what autophagy is, autophagy is in the most plain like English way of explaining it. It's the opportunity for your body to find things that are not serving you internally it consumes that and then regenerates newer, healthier cells. It's the amazing thing that happens for us when we are fasting correctly and with consistency over time. So you can trust that if you are fasting and you're fasting in a way that creates this environment, this is going to happen. I'm gonna share with you a comment from one of our students that just graduated from September to show you how you can find proof for autophagy. So there's no real test for it. You can't go into your doctor's office, you know, like we can with a lot of, um, with a lot of other things to say, hey, can you test to see where my hormones are? Can you test to see what my fasting blood glucose is? Can you test to see what my thyroid is doing? There's no test for autophagy. So there's estimations on how long we should fast and what we should do in a fasting state to get our body into a state of autophagy. And then there all are what I like to call signs and signals that are reinforcing for you that autophagy is in fact taking place. We talk here a lot about the hierarchy of healing, right? So your body is deciding what's most important to, to, to get rid of, what's most important to regenerate and put back into your system your body is going to decide that when you're in this state or opportunity to fast and reach autophagy. We don't get to decide that. So if you have a lot of things that need to be recycled and regenerated for you, then the, the healing process goes through its hierarchy. And oftentimes weight loss, albeit the thing we in our brain want to happen first, is low priority on the totem pole when it comes to autophagy, right? So a lot of healing is taking place and then when we get healed and we're balanced out, that's usually when the weight loss happens. Again, there's no test for it. So this is where I say it's really important for us as women to become really intimate with our own body and really have a healthy flow of communication. If you make decisions with your brain, how is your body responding to that? How are you looking? How are you feeling? And do you feel like you're doing that in your most authentic way? That's why we have this mantra here. Your body is going to tell you whether you're making good decisions by informing you through the signs and signals. It is estimated that about 17 hours is when autophagy starts taking place. So I'm going to show you a little timeline on my next sheet here. So about 17 hours. 
This is why this 20 hour fast that we practice and I teach inside the intermittent fasting for today's aging woman course is benefiting so many of us because we have a good opportunity every day to spend some time in that regeneration of our cells kind of window, right? So if we can create this environment every single day for a few hours, we have a pretty good chance that autophagy is going to take place. So what are some of the signs and signals that you can look for? Some of the communication, you know, that your body or feedback that your body is going to give you. So we know that ketones are very healing properties in our body. We also know that these are the byproduct of fat utilization. So if you are registering ketones, you could be pretty confident, feel pretty confident about the fact that your body is reaching that state of autophagy. Again, I always like to preface this or kind of asterisk this ketone thing with the fact that you don't have to be in the deepest state of ketosis every single day for autophagy to take place. You just have to ask yourself, can my body get to the place where it can produce ketones? If you're producing ketones, I bank on the fact, and and we're gonna, like I said, we're going to share a testimonial from class and the healing that I even went through, you can bet you're in healing because you are in fact producing ketone bodies. Your appetite decreases or is in control. So again, this is where we say hungry is where the magic happens. If your body in a state of autophagy or in your fasting state sends you hunger cues and you know how to quiet them because you're balancing them out, your body is going to consume, this is what autophagy is, this dead and damaged byproduct of, of what we call living life, and it's going to feast off of it. That's what we call feasting in your fasted window, right? You're not doing anything, anything to interrupt your body's chemistry. Your body's going to say, I got this damaged cell byproduct and proteins. I'm just going to go away and eat off of what you have there, and I'm going to regenerate some new cells. This is why fasting is so powerful. And then after, uh, after time, when your hunger hormones balance out, that appetite is very controllable and you feel that confidence knowing, okay, I might feel a little bit of hunger, but I'm going to just move out of the way with my brain and let my body do what it does best and go find something to chomp on and feast away on in my own fasted state. If you have that like... um ketone or what we call the fasted breath, right? Where your body's producing ketones and that byproduct is you can have like that um, almost like aluminum metallic kind of taste in your mouth. That's a pretty good sign that you are in a state of autophagy, which is why I always tell women, don't interrupt these signs and signals. If you have bad breath, or you feel like you have the byproduct of what we call bad breath from fasting, your body's in a healing state. If you interrupt that by dousing your breath with, you know, minty fresh mouthwash, or you're using a lot of um, toothpaste in the morning when you're just really getting into that fasted state, you could in fact interrupt this. Just rinse your mouth out and brush with a toothbrush. That's a really good toothbrush. Electric toothbrush is what I always recommend. You can change this so it's just normal breath not minty fresh, but may not be bad. And you can stay in this state of autophagy. Improved brain function is another sign and signal that your body is in a state of autophagy because you're clearing out a lot of that brain matter that's just clogging things up. So brain function improving is an excellent way to measure whether you're in autophagy or not. A skin improvements for a lot of people who have lost weight, and feel like their skin is saggy. I know for a lot of women where collagen starts to decrease as we get um, older um, and our skin gets a little crepey or we start to see um, fine lines and wrinkles and those kind of things, autophagy will help improve that as well. And then the final thing is weight loss. So it does really go in this order with weight loss being the final thing that your body is going to do because it has so many other things it wants to do on your behalf before it does that last little weight loss effect of um, being in a state of autophagy and losing weight. So does autophagy help you lose weight? 100% percent. But we've got to make sure we're getting through all of this and all of this first so that we can get to this place. And this is why here we talk about consistency over time. And why wouldn't you fast every day for 20 hours 
if the promise at the end of that 20 hours was all those healing benefits. So let's talk about what happens in a fasting long, feasting well, training smart type of environment or lifestyle that we create here and what I teach you inside the Intermittent Fasting for Today's Aging Woman course. So up here at zero, we start a new fasting opportunity. This is when we stop putting things into our body that are going to create chemical and or hormonal changes, meaning our body has to work on processing that last decision we just made by putting something in our body, right? So this is where that starts here. So I like to call zero to 12 hours of your fasted state preparation for this fasted state. So your body is going to work really hard at breaking down and balancing out the last things you put in it, right? So it has to get through that first before it can ever go into the damage that we're hoping for it to chomp on in that, in that truly fasted state. So this is preparing for the fasted state, or that's like how I like to visualize it and think about it. And the 12 hours to the 20 hours is what I like to call the truly fasted state. Because from here to here, we should be in that place where we can actually start to utilize what we have in storage. So from here to here, this is beneficial, of course, because we are still preparing for us to get into those stages of autophagy, but we're not quite there yet. This is why I believe, again, these are all just my opinions, right? There's no study or no test that can prove this. This is just from feedback we're getting from the women in our community. A lot of women are here fasting for 16, feasting for eight, and are really frustrated because they're not seeing and feeling the benefits of intermittent fasting. Just not enough time in this truly fasted state for your body to tap into all the dead and damaged byproducts of living our life so they can actually get to that weight loss. So 17, 18, 19, and 20 hours. This is right here, what I call healing autophagy opportunity. When your body can actually, it's so depleted off of what you consumed the day before, depleted in a good way. Now you can feast on all the things that your body has stored away, including all of the things that are causing us so many problems as we start to age. We have had skin irritations disappear within three weeks of practicing a 20 hour fast and a four hour feast. We have had skin improvements. We have had pain go away. We have had so many things happen because this is the consistency over time that we need so that we can create a lifestyle that is realistic and sustainable for us as aging women, right? We don't have to go days without food if we can consistently create this environment over time. And so if you're that person that's ebbing and flowing, this is a great opportunity to think about why would I not want to live in this as much as I possibly can, and then allow for those instances where life and celebrations and those things happen, you can afford that opportunity if you can just get back to this, right? Because any damage that was created when you're not fasting is going to be on that surface of the storage tank, and your body will be able to get through that pretty quickly. I believe Again, not scientifically studied. I am not a doctor. I just know that after working with tens of thousands of women, this seems to be the cycle that once you get rid of the damaged tank storage, right? When we do this consistently and do this consistently, you can get to the healing so much faster. And this is really where that weight loss and the weight loss staying off is really happening for so many women. And reversing a lot of these sugar related diseases because you are not building up so much damage that it's going to take forever to get through or months to get through. If you do this consistently over time, anything that comes up that could be a problem is going to be consumed first and consumed quickly. And then you get back to maintaining what it is you've created with this intermittent fasting consistently over time. This is really magical. If you think about what our body is capable of doing if we do nothing and let it do what it was designed to do, and that is keep us alive 
and keep us healthy. And when we're really honest with the decisions we're making in our own lifestyle, we can do that in a very happy way. And we can, can and we can just rinse and repeat what it is we're doing over time with not feeling like we have to either exit our life or do things that are super drastic. You should not have to not consume food for days if that's not your thing. I have been intermittent fasting now for almost seven years, a little over six years. I eat food every single day and I also create that environment for my body to uh, hit those stages of autophagy. So now where does fitness work in? It's just, again, one of those things where you, when you're exerting more energy, right, you're asking more from your body, your body is going to tap into that storage that much quicker. So if we think about our storage being like, tanks or drums, right? And and we're consistently emptying those drums, right? So we empty them every day consistently. This is also what I like to call draining the tanks. And we're not getting them to the point where they're overflowing. Then that fitness just adds that third component of the draining of the tank that much quicker. So this is where that zone two training we talk about um, comes into handy, comes in handy as well. Um, and we'll talk about that on another day. But if you are unhappy with the way your skin is looking, you're unhappy with mystery rashes, you're unhappy with anything that's going on with your body, practice this. Get your body to the place where autophagy can take place. But you have to do this part and this part consistently. So again, that backup isn't so grandiose that we can never get to the place that we really want, which is that weight loss. We have to get through those things first that your body's deeming most important. And then the weight loss part is is important for your body as well, but it always seems to be the last on the list. So let me share with you... Um, a comment that I just received from one of our September grads. This is how you know autophagy is taking place and you have to just trust these signs and signals from your body. She says, whoop, whoop, 100% completed. That means she went all in with class and went all the way through to the very last lesson. This has changed my life. I feel great. Lots of pain gone. Remember, inflammation is usually the first thing that gets corrected with this lifestyle that we teach inside of class. And with inflammation disappearing, pain also goes away. Can get up off the floor easier and lost nine to 10 pounds. More in size than number. So that means her body composition changed in a way that doesn't always match up with what the scale is saying. So she had a bigger improvement in what she's seeing and feeling than what the scale actually said. Um, cellulite disappearing because remember when we enter into this stage of autophagy your body's going to consume what is extra what's in storage so yes cellulite can disappear also skin feels awesome my digestive tract is loving the process and i no longer crave sugar or food because she is in that state of autophagy where her body is self-consuming so there's plenty of nutrition for her body to live off of in that fasted state my overall well-being is awesome. Thank you, Diane. Love this lifestyle and love me. That's our whole goal. We have to learn how to love ourselves. Fasting, feasting, and fitness and fabulous. New mantra. Looking forward to the year from now event. I'm sure I'm going to be great. Not, experience, not expecting the worldly change, but I feel it in my bones and gut. Literally hugs. Like who doesn't want all of that to happen for themselves by just simply practicing this, practicing this, consistently over time. Why would you not want to live this lifestyle? And that's the question I ask here all the time. It's very realistic to fast for 20 hours and feast well for four forever. As long as you're allowing for those memory making moments, so psychologically, so emotionally, so mentally, you don't feel like you're missing your life. But we also want to make sure that we're doing this so we can stay happy and healthy. So again, we're not missing our life. We want to move pain free. We want to be able to get up off the floor. We want to feel good in our own skin. We want to see our physique change. We want to see all those things happen. And this is the most simple way to do that. And it's the most intelligent way to do it because our body already knows what to do. We can just shut our brain off and go, I'm going to do nothing for 20 hours and let my body do the magic. Okay. So let me see who we have here in the comment section. Remember I did post the, um, the information to jump into class with us. 
Uh, if you're interested in learning how to do this, while creating a lifestyle that's really realistic. I don't want this community to be fear uh, phobic of, fe of food. I don't want you to feel like you're doing things desperately. I don't want us to have a community of women who are feeling like they have to completely purge them themselves and their life in order to get a result and then feel like they're going to binge to make up for all of their lost time. This can be very sustainable and very realistic for the rest of your life while you're still actually contributing and showing up for yourself and the people that you love. Okay, let's see who's here today. August 22 grad, Diane, can you talk to us a little bit more about making choices that align with the changes we want to bring about in our lives? If you're a grad, Jan, of the intermittent fasting class and you're not in the midlife mindset shift course, I highly recommend jumping into that. That's where we do all of the stuff about making the mindset shifts that we need to make so that what we say we want is actually what we're going to achieve, not just having this dreamy set of ideals of how we want to live and then not making the decisions that match up to that. So that would be a midlife mindset shift course um, question for that. Do you think autophagy can clear up big projects like cataracts or calcification in arteries? I don't know. Again, I'm not a doctor, but I'm going to always fast, right? I'm always going to create an opportunity where my body can do what it's been designed to do and really take a lot, take care of a lot of this stuff without me having to intervene. So I am betting this is going to take care of everything. This is why here I always say like fasting will heal all things right? Because I have seen magic happen, mystery diseases, thyroid problems gone, uh, medicines being, um, uh, uh, having to be, uh, stop being refilled, surgeries being um, um, canceled, like all kinds of amazing things are happening. So I would say bet on this, take your chances. What do you have to lose? Right. And there could be some sort of improvement. Again, I'm not a doctor, so I can't necessarily say what to do to improve those things. But I can tell you that we have an amazing community of women here who have had so many things just absolutely disappear that they thought that they were going to have to manage for the rest of their life. So I'm, I'm, I would bet on this. Margaret, Kind of went off fasting for 24 for a couple weeks, back on track starting today can really feel the difference when I'm off track, of course, because this isn't happening and things start to get backed up. You start to feel sluggish, start to feel fatigued. For a lot of women, myself included, if I'm not fasting consistently, I lose my enthusiasm for a lot of the things I really enjoy in my life. And so I don't like to miss those either. So I'm always going to rely on this to keep me in the game. Jenny, happy to see this topic. Thanks. Please share any info you have about how long it would take to get back into autophagy if it is disrupted by anything ingested. Is it something of a sliding scale? And remember, our body works, Jenny, on a 24-hour cycle. So I always think about everything is 24 hours. So if you were to just skip a day of fasting, right, so maybe you didn't have this opportunity, then you just go back the next day and go fast. And, and this is where, again, the consistency over time really does help. Because if this is happening more than not, then you're going to be able to keep a lot of these byproducts just out of your body and out of your system because your body's going to be able to do its work every single day. If you take years away from fasting, right, and then you start to get some of this damage built up again and start backed up, that's when you start to see the problems and those will come up when you go to the doctor, or you'll see things in your skin or you'll stop losing weight, aches and pains come back, all those kind of things. So I would say every 24 hours, ask yourself the question, how long am I going to fast today? How well am I going to feast today? How many hours am I going to set myself up for this success to happen? Tammy, thanks for covering autophagy. If, you're, if your sense of smell or taste is compromised, are you still affected hormonally? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, GD, he hello again, I think it was. Uh, can you please explain to us how autophagy is measured and how do we know if it's taking place? Your body is going to tell you if this is taking place by the fact that you're going to see and feel improvements. And just like what I shared with um, with our uh, September 22 grad, like these are all signs that autophagy is taking place. She doesn't have to go to her doctor for that. Her body's telling her, hey, those pains you had, gone. Uh, the trouble you were having getting off the floor, I'm going to take that away uh, because she just doesn't have the pain and stiffness anymore. Cellulite disappearing, skin feeling better, having your energy. All of those are great signs and signals, right? That your body is telling you, girlfriend, I'm appreciating what you're doing. I'm going to do the work on the inside. I'm going to do the heavy lifting 
you just keep doing this thing you're doing consistently enough over time to keep me in this uh, uh, opportunity right here. Uh, Lori, starting your class coming Saturday. Cannot wait. Cannot wait to have you in class, Lori. Good morning, all. Uh, signed up for October class. Excited. I completed three days of 24. Difficult but doable. And the scale moved in the right direction. And you're not even in class yet. Just wait till you learn some of this stuff, right? And the decision making process so that you can incorporate this as your lifestyle. And you will be able to continue keeping, getting those results and keeping those for sure. Uh, Denise, uh, September 22 grad. Congratulations, my friend. You are a graduate now. So just make sure when you come back to these conversations, you carry that amazing title with you for sure. Uh, oh, and you guys are going to see each other in class. Super excited about that. Caprice has signed up for October. Carol starting on the first two. I love it. Patricia, September 22 grad, get off the fence, face your fears and follow Diane's lead and guidance. Well worth it. Thank you for saying that, my friend. The only thing that keeps women from jumping into class is the fact that they have not been successful at keeping weight off in the past. And so they're afraid they're going to repeat that same kind of style or routine. Here's what I say if you're feeling like you're hanging on the fence and you're afraid you're not going to have success with this, trust this. Trust this. Trust that if you understand how your body works and the gift that you have been given with a human body to have this opportunity take place where it's going to take care of itself, you cannot fail if you're being honest with yourself. You cannot fail if you're being honest with yourself. So that's a lot of the work that we do inside the intermittent, intermittent fasting course for sure. Sue, hello, my friend. Gwen, August grad, congratulations to all that signed up. Love Diane's class. There you go. Um, that's why we have this conversation here too. I want you guys to stay in the game even as graduates. Leslie, September grad, really enjoy the course. So, so worth it. Love it. Terry, graduate of August. I'm I'm back to my size four vintage pants with my son when my son was little. Yes, there's no reason. There is no reason we should not be able to have the body that we want today, right? And I know for a lot of people, myself included, like I would love to have the body I had when I was 24, right? I don't want to have to do the things I did to have my body at 24. I really want to have the body that I feel my best in today. And I think once we get a taste of what our best is today, we get really comfortable there. And that's a good thing to be. A good thing for us women is to be comfortable and confident in our own skin while living a very realistic and healthy life. And I know for me, that wasn't always the case back in the day. So I don't want to replicate that. I want to show up as my best self today. And I hope that's how you guys are showing up as well. Bethany, I'm starting today on this way of eating. Fantastic, my friend, and maybe you can see us in class on the first. Diana, hello from British Columbia. I started at 256 and I'm 158, size 12. Never thought I'd see that again and happy. I'm worried about maintenance. I've lost this battle six times in 25 years. You don't have to worry about maintenance if you trust this. Rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. If the lifestyle is working for you, there's no need for you to leave the lifestyle. Does using keto sticks help? So, so testing is just giving you information about the decisions you're making. Does it help you reach a state of autophagy? No. Will it tell you if you're producing ketone bodies? Yes. Um, urine sticks are not the most accurate way to do that. I would get a blood glucose and ketone monitor. If you go to the description box in my YouTube video, I have the one I use and the link there is um, associated with the discount as well. And what I really like to teach women is not so much, are you just producing ketones, but what's your blood glucose doing at the same time? And we really work on getting a very um, manageable GKI, so a combination of the two. Cecilia, I have inflammation in my body and it's painful. Hoping intermittent fasting helps. You don't have to hope, my friend. You just have to practice it and be honest with yourself. Are you fasting long? Are you fasting clean? And are you feasting well? And are you moving your body appropriately? Those three things together should really help you. Andy, hello from Greece. I'm fasting two months now and I've lost only two kilos. I'm fasting 18, 6, 19, 5, and 21, 3, 24, and one meal a day. Kind of counting calories on weekdays and not so careful on the weekends, but I do 24. So the consistency part, 
A lot of women undo what they do during the week on the weekend. So you have to ask yourself, is, is, um, is the fact that you've only lost two kilos frustrating for you? And if it is, then you have to put your desire to lose more weight above the inconsistency and the flip-flopping you're doing on the weekends and the weekdays. What's autophagy? Brian, my friend, it's right here. Autophagy is when your body destroys unwanted or damaged cells and regenerates newer and healthier cells. Thank you for asking, my friend. Uh, Shelly, sign up for October class. Can't wait to learn more about feasting correctly. Um, so here's the thing about class. Remember this. I do not tell any women what to eat. Um, Shelly, I don't know you. I don't know what your family budget is for food. I don't know what your likes and dislikes are around food. I don't know what your food aversions are. I don't know what your customs and family traditions are with food. So I teach you how to fast correctly based on all of those things for you by you making informed decisions that are going to make you happy around food. Marilyn, it's our cell eating themselves. Yep, for sure. Sandy, I have a chronic pain condition and intermittent fasting has been the number one factor in pain reduction and less meds. Please sign up for the class. There you go. Um, yeah, our when our body's in pain, that's a sign and signal that something is going on inside that we need to pay attention to. And oftentimes we subdue the pain and don't really resolve the problem that's causing the pain. So the beautiful thing about intermittent fasting is it attacks the problem that's causing the pain and then the pain can resolve itself internally. Uh, uh, Sharon, and I only really lost weight when I did 20 hour fast every day and four hour eating window every single day. And then I started losing. Yep. 100%. Brian, how do I, how do I low testosterone? How does low testosterone have any effect? Um, well, fasting is another one of those things, right? Because there's a lot of things in our daily lifestyle that causes our hormones to be out of balance. So if you're have, if you have low testosterone and you've had it tested, there's a lot of things you can do in your diet. There's a lot of things you can do with fasting. Um, and there's a lot of things you can do with supplementation to help bring that back. Dorothy, September 22 grad, feeling a little withdrawal from Diane Parham's daily fix. You don't have to, my friend Dorothy. I'll be here on Monday. I'll be on Instagram on Tuesday. I'll be back here on Thursday. And I'll be on Instagram on Friday. And if you want to join us for the uh, Midlife Mindset Shift, of course, you get two live coaching calls with me every week too. So no need to fill withdrawals. I'm here. Make sure you come back and see me. Um, Roxy, hi, Diane, September 22, grad fasting 20 to 22 hours a day. I feel amazing. Lost 31 pounds in two months, have mental clarity and so much energy. Love this lifestyle. So for those of you who are wondering, how do you know if autophagy is taking place? Roxy right here is a perfect example of that. She's lost 31 pounds in two months and has her mental clarity back. So again, we think because we're aging, we're supposed to lose our cognitive function, that we're supposed to feel foggy brain, all the things that society tells us is supposed to happen because that's how most people are aging. We don't want to be the average woman who's aging in today's world. We want to be the outliers. So Roxy, congratulations for being an outlier and for being a September 22 grad. You're not supposed to age that way. So Trust this. This is why I say fasting heals all things when you are fasting correctly. Uh, Jenny, hello, my friends. Dorothy, my skin is looking fabulous, 69 and fine. There you go. Another another uh, great testimonial as well, right? Skin is looking fabulous. How do you know if autophagy is taking place? Your skin starts to feel healthier from the inside out. A lot of times, again, we put a lot of topical things on our body, right, to, to improve our skin. But if we're not working on the inside, it's just not going to work the same. Imagine if you could work on your skin from the inside out and the outside in, and you can get the double effect of that and more bang for your buck and whatever it is you're purchasing for your skincare. Uh, Tracy, hello from South Africa. This all just makes so much sense. Thank you. 24 under control now, tweaking my meal planning. Awesome. And remember, for this, you do not have to follow a diet. Your body can produce ketones with a very, very, um, I don't want to say average, a very, I don't know what word to use, but you don't have to follow a diet. You don't have to follow the ketogenic diet. You don't have to eat blocks of cheese and never eat carbs. Like you don't have to follow a diet for this to happen. This happens when this starts taking place and this happens, right? When this is under control and this happens when you, you all the other things are happening as well. So your body can produce ketones without following the ketogenic diet. I'm going to say that again. 
your body can produce ketones without following the ketogenic diet. Your body knows what to do. You just have to learn how to feast well when you're in your feasting window. Uh, Yvette, hi from Barbados, September graduate. Love every minute I spent learning about my body and reaping the rewards. I feel amazing and loving what I see in the mirror. Bonus, I lost two dress sizes. How do you know if autophagy is taking place? Yvette, she lost two dress sizes. That means her body was doing a lot of this in class, in that 20 hour uh, fasted state, right? Your body wants to do this, trust me. And these women who are graduates who are losing this weight and seeing improvements in their skin and getting their cognitive function back, their body's just thanking them. That's all it is. It's like your body's going, thanks, girlfriend. I've been wanting to do this. Thanks for getting out of the way and letting me do my job. So Yvette, congratulations, my friend. Uh, Patty, happy fall from Salt Lake City, Utah. My husband and I have been doing 24 for the past three months. We are enjoying it and tweaking it as we learn more. Yes, this is a thing about a lifestyle that you create versus a diet that someone is handing you and saying, do this or else, right? When you create your own lifestyle, you can be like Patty and her husband. You can tweak it along the way. You're making the rules. You just need to understand this part of it. This is the part we need to understand, right? This 16 to 20 hours is really where your body is working hard to make the improvements that you say that you want for it. So you can do this consistently, but then also allow for some tweaking as well. Jessica, thank you for all of your advice, Diane. I squeeze lemon juice in my water. Am I breaking my fast? I would not risk this right here for lemon. There's nothing lemon's doing for me that is so magical that I would risk going from this to this and have healing taking place. There's nothing that lemon can do for me that's more important than this. I wouldn't risk it. Shauna. Um, I've been doing, dealing with an old hand injury and this past week with the weather changing, I've had excruciating pain, but my body's healing even tied. I fast for 20 uh, plus more hours. Yeah. So again, it's that thing that the more you're fasting, the, I bet you the, the better you're going to feel about that. And then what I would do is I would bank on the fact that if I keep up with this next season, I might not even have the pain, right? Because for a lot of us, these injuries are just that inflammation surrounding the area where we were injured. And what if you could get rid of that? Like, I would think that would be a fun year-long experiment for sure. Dorothy, uh, me too, Yvette. I'm seeing definition in my body I haven't seen in a few years. Who doesn't want that? Steph, why does a, why does a vulgar, Walter Longo say you need to eat breakfast? I don't know, but it doesn't work for me. Again, you know, here's the deal. Everyone has their philosophy. And I know Walter uh, uh, Longo has done a bunch of studies. So his studies are around what he's doing, right? So of course he's going to, and I know he's very well respected. So kudos to him. So he does that based on the studies that he's doing. What I'm telling you is what we do here. And you can see all these results in the comment section. And we're not eating breakfast and we're getting amazing results as well. So find the person who tells you what you want to hear that you think is going to allow you to look and feel your best and live your most authentic life. And that's if that's eating breakfast and you're getting the results you want, then eating breakfast is your jam. What a lot of us are finding here because of lifestyle is that feasting in the evening is working for us because of how our life is set up. But if you feel like fasting and breakfast eating is the best and you want to fast at night, like that's fine too. But everyone has their philosophy based on what they're doing and what's working for them. Hey, Diane, I'm getting the impression that the 20 hour fast together with this autophagy must be great for a Friday night after work binge at the pub only one day off of the week. Yeah, sure. Try it out. See how it works for you. Sherry, July graduate, inflammation decreased, joint pain and sugar cravings gone, learn to adjust when life happens and not feel guilty, does taking med first thing in the morning stop the fast? So remember, any medic medication that you're taking, you have to take as prescribed by your physician, right? So I would talk to your doctor about how you can create a plan to maybe get off that medicine. Lots of women are getting off, I, I think that's a thyroid medicine if I'm... 
I think that's what that is. You can let me know in the comment section. But a lot of women are getting off that as well because the autophagy part's um, taking place and their thyroids are healing internally. And so you have to do what you have to do when you have to do it. My goal would be for you to see if you can get off that medicine, if at all possible, and then you don't have to worry about it. So you have to keep your you have to keep your life the way it's supposed to be while you're being uh, prescribed something under the care of physician. Ask him if you could take it later. You never know. You might He might say yes. And then I wouldn't worry about it, but I would worry. I would really make it a goal to get off that. Uh, Bethany, why is breakfast pushed for so much? Uh, it was the food industry. Jane, July grad, lots of improvement. Here's just a few. Skin tags gone. Okay. How do you know if autophagy is taking place? Jane is going to tell us she took class in July. Skin tags gone, wrinkles and scars less, hair thicker, skin glowing, joints less sore, eyelashes longer and thicker. I'm 63 soon, feel younger than I did when I was 53. Oh, and I'm maintaining my perfect size. Thank you for being you. You're fabulous. Jane is just blurting out all the ways autophagy is taking place for her. She took class in July, so that's July in class, August, and now September, and she's maintaining it all. Love it. Linda, October, joined October class. Can't wait to have you in class. Shard, does thyroid med first thing in the morning affect results? Again, you have to talk to your doctor about your thyroid medication. If you have to take it first thing in the morning, you just do what you're supposed to do. You don't worry about breaking the fast. You do everything else along this line. Because the goal is you still want your body to heal itself. And that momentary break from your medicine isn't going to be a you know, isn't going to be that thing that's going to stop all of this, right? It might take you a little bit longer, but your body's still going to work on healing itself because you're taking advantage of this still. I would fast 20 hours, squeaky clean, make sure I'm not putting any food in my body without exception. That's going to be intolerant to my body or not be part of the healing process. And my goal would be to get off that medicine. Mary, September grad, lost 12 pounds of feeling great, pain in knees and feet gone, feeling great with this new lifestyle. Mary, September grad, 12 pounds gone, sign that autophagy took place, pain in knees and feet gone, another sign autophagy took place, feeling great with this new lifestyle. So can intermittent fasting uh, with autophagy taking place help you lose weight? Absolutely, but it's going to help you with all these other things too. So Mary... You enjoy those uh, pain-free feet. Patty, I'm jumping into the October class. So excited. I need some help with the mindset shift. I have been tw doing 24 for a few months and doing great. I appreciate all the help. Come into class. When women come into class, they come in with a whole new attitude, a whole new mindset, a whole new commitment to themselves. I call it being selfish, right? Come into class and be selfish for three weeks. Think about your body. Think about the choices you're making. Think about how things feel. Think about how you're seeing yourself. All of those things happen when you jump into class because you made a commitment to do something that's structured and just for you. So Patty, cannot wait to have you. Angelique, what I found, what I would follow, when I would follow the class is everything in English because I understood a lot, but not everything. I'm from Holland. Everything is in English because I speak English um, and I and I don't have the class translated, but you can take the class as many times as you want. There's also um, uh, things typed below uh, so you can read some things. It's in English as well, and you can download the audios. So there's many opportunities for you to go through the class more than once if you need kind of that time to just have it set in with the translation aspect of things. Shauna, I've been following you for one and a half months, 15 pounds down and feeling amazing. I've been following 16.8 currently. Fantastic. I love that that's working for you. Georgine, August 22 grad, my big mindset change is to ditch the all or nothing approach, meaning anytime I eat more, I will jump back on track the next day, not January. Yeah. We don't wait for Mondays. We don't wait for the first of the month. We don't wait for someone to start a challenge group. Whenever you decide you need to make a change that's going to affect you and your life in a positive way. That's the moment you start. You don't even start till you don't even have to wait till the next day. Just decide in that moment, like I'm just going to do things differently, and your body will start to pick up on those signs and signals as well. The communication is always there. Judy, I signed up for the October course. How does the class schedule and community group work? 
Other certain times it should be available during the day. No, the course is all recorded lessons for 21 days. Every lesson is released at 1 a.m. Central Standard Time because we do have a big international base of students. So I give everyone a fair shake at when they get the lesson. Um, you just show up whenever it's convenient for you. You'll get an email every day reminding you to jump into class and what lesson we're on. The community group starts on Friday. That's where everyone introduces themselves. You have access to me in the community group the whole time you're in class. So that's where you ask questions and that's where you get um, one-on-one -on -one coaching from me via the community group. 2019 grad, girl, love that you're back. Sherry, uh, July 22 grad, had a memory-making weekend and will continue through next weekend and I remind and had a reminder why I gave up gluten and sugar. Mm -hmm. Because when your body is sending you signs and signals that are good, right, you're doing all the right things, feels great. When you then revert back to your old ways, I say it's like you got hit by a brick, the gluten brick and the sugar brick. And for a lot of us, it's the dairy and the soy brick as well. And it feels really bad because your body was giving you the taste of what it's like to feel really good. So make sure you're listening to those. Don't go too far deep into that. When I went to a lady's tea and ate some scones with cream and jam, felt horrible in the middle of the night. The rest of the week will be continued 20 hours of fasting with no sugar gluten. Yeah. And you should clear through that pretty quickly. Uh, Joanne, thank you, Diane. You are the best. This live, these, these live chats are so important. Yeah, I feel they are too. That's why I show up. And I love the fact that you guys are all showing up too. I will always be here for you. All you got to do is check in with me. Julie, September grad, love this live. Sign up for October. It is so worthwhile. Thank you for saying that. Senora Riviera, I'm in my journey to lose 211 pounds. I really enjoy your video. Uh, greetings from Paris, California. I used to live close to Paris. Brianna, you are so right. August class graduate. It really works. 20 hours is magic. Thank you, Diane. Yeah, you're welcome, my friend. Uh, you know, people just aren't talking about uh, talking to us about this, right? Which is why I think it's really important that we have this forum here. It is just different for us as aging women. Our life is different. The demands on us are different. We have a lot of things we need to make up for that we didn't do so well in our younger days. That's okay. We don't live back there anymore. We live over here in the future and all the things we want for ourselves coming up. So this is really the lifestyle that we should all be living in some way, shape or form. Mary, I have joined I've joined the October class excited but still wondering if I can consume enough quantity calories in 4 hours and get the nutrition I need to sustain me for another 20. That's what you're going to learn in class, my friend. And I always say don't fear don't fear something and 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 not give yourself the opportunity when you don't have proof yet. You have no proof you're not you that your body's um, incapable of doing that. Don't limit yourself. Fiona, I notice I don't eat I notice I don't even get that hungry and I find I eat less food during the feasting time. Friends saw me and said, wow, you've lost weight. I still have vanilla flavored cream in my coffee. Well, there you go, my friend. Shamrock, I'm loving the benefits. Saturday, I actually realized I can read the time on my watch now, which I haven't been able to do for the last five years. Thank you so much. I have sent lots of links to you. Oh, that is awesome, my friend. And yeah, so there you go. So her vision improved. She can see her watch now. She hasn't been able to see that in five years. So you never know. Brianna, I am Dory. Yes, listen to Diane. She is so right. 20 hours is where the magic happens. August graduate. Thank you. You're welcome. Pamela, what's up, my friend? Love this community so much. August 22 grad. Highly recommend the classes. Change my life. Just do the info. Trust the process. All of it. It has changed my life forever. 23 pounds down. And she's at her goal weight. Y'all, she's at her goal weight. She's part of our community of women, right? Our age group of women. And she is looking and feeling her best. And I know she's doing it in her most authentic way because she ha has come on our Instagram lives and shared her story as well. So, so happy for you, my love. Casey, August grad, mole tags are gone. Dark mole crusted up and fell off. Left behind a smooth skin that is just a shade darker than my normal skin. Thank you, Diane. Autophagy, doing its magic. Moles just falling off. So happy for you. Uh, Renee, 20, uh, 2018 grad. Love it. Fiona, I don't know. I have. I didn't know I have a cute waist. Noticing the pounds coming up. Yeah, waistlines, collarbones, shoulder definition, jaw lines, chins disappearing. Like all of it's happening. All of it's happening. Mary Ann, after 38 years of fibromyalgia, pain is gone. Fasting is healing. There you go. There's another sign of autophagy taking place. All those signs and signals that her body was giving her 
letting her know fibromyalgia was running the show, right, are now going away, which means now she's running the show. Love it. Loretta, what do you mean about feasting well? Feasting well means you're listening to the signs and signals your body's giving you when you consume something. So if you're eating cheese and every time you eat cheese, you feel bloated and gassy, but you continue to eat cheese anyway, you're not listening to the signs and signals your body is sending you. That's like a, just a very basic kind of description of it for sure. Lucy, how do you prepare for the 20 hour fast when it's your first time trying out IF? I teach you that inside of class, my friend. Uh, you'll learn all that when you jump into class with us. Rhonda, 822 grad, went to Hawaii for eight days, whole vacay, was a memory making moment. I just tried not to indulge, ate, fasted when I could and gained two pounds, went right back to 20 hour fasting and lost three from 714 to 926. That is amazing. So from July to September, she was 160 to 143. Love it. Karen, my senior citizen skin is bruising very easily tears easily. Also, well, will 20 hours of fasting help? I don't know. You have to try it. Fiona, love all this amazing info, Diane. You're welcome. My friend, Glory, Gloria from Kenya. I have benefited so much from listening to your teachings. Thank you so much for keeping up the good work. You're welcome, my friend. JB, been having issues with feeling weak, dizzy, and not quite right with trying to drink at least 100 ounces of water per day. How do I stop feeling so weak? I uh, would check what you're doing in your feasting window and make sure you have enough salt and electrolytes in your system. Mel, September grad, not only lost 10 pounds, but I started to I started with a painful hip that would not let me sleep. The pain is gone. I will be going on a camping trip for my 56th birthday this weekend. Well, girlfriend, you're going to sleep comfortably on your camping trip, which is absolutely amazing. So, so flippin' happy for you. Pain in her hip is gone. Okay, here's where autophagy and, and doing this for autophagy purposes and understanding what happens here is really beneficial. If that pain would have gotten worse, the option you would have had probably was a surgery or some sort of pain medication or steroid shots or those kind of things. And now you don't have to do any of that because the pain's just not there anymore. So, so happy. Heather uh, may want to check this out. Oh yeah, I think you tagged someone. Brenda, I didn't know my body can get ketones without the keto diet. I'm always trying to do keto, but never can go past two weeks. Yeah, because it's not sustainable. It's not a, the ketogenic diet is very personality driven. There are people who thrive in it. And I say thrive away. And there are other people who just don't. I happen to be the don't category of the ketogenic diet. I can get into ketosis anytime I decide I want to get into ketosis. So you don't have to live that kind of lifestyle and be that disciplined and deprived and all of those kind of things. You can get your body into a state of ketosis. ketosis. Ketones are present when your body is utilizing fat as a source of energy. Fiona, anyone experiencing hair growth and thickness due to 24? I think a lot of people are once you get past the hair loss stage. Robin, this is Robin from Minnesota and from your August class. I don't use the scale, but I can fit into my winter clothes again, right? Those winter clothes, man, you have, if you haven't been in winter clothes for a while, slipping on those jeans or those long pants, getting yourself out of shorts or loosey-goosey kind of clothes, and then having to get into clothes that are more form-fitting, there's nothing better than not fearing walking into your closet in the fall, for sure. Um, uh, Vienna, we could talk about the midlife mindset shift course. Melissa, I just finished a September class, loved it, lost 20 pounds and down a few sizes, never missed breakfast, no more pain in the morning, autophagy working on my arthritis, no more numbness in hands. You want to know if autophagy is taking place with this lifestyle? Uh, Melissa is a perfect example of that. Terry, most, medi mo most medication for different thyroid is taken on an empty stomach and you don't have to eat afterwards. There you go. I would talk to your doctor. Janet, July 2017 grad just returned from a five-week European vacation. That is dreamy all by itself. Practice what I've learned from Diane, fasted as usual, walked everywhere, enjoyed lots of great food in my window, and returned not gaining one pound. Five-week European vacation. 68 years young, this works, never felt better. And you guys, she's from 2017, which is again proof that when you create a lifestyle that you love, you stick to it and you don't have to keep going back and forth with gaining, losing, gaining, losing, gaining, losing. My friend just went on a five-week European vacation, did not gain one pound. Love it. Janet, I love hearing from you. Denise, if we join class, what time is class? I'm worried. It's all recorded. You jump in when it's most convenient for you. If you get on my email list, I'm sending out emails all week um, and explains how courses run and all that kind of stuff. 
Taking thyroid meds, first thing should not affect. Okay, so um, again, in the thyroid, Terry, most thyroid medication, did that one again. Um, how do you sign up for classes? You go to fortodaysagingwoman.com. You can go straight there. There's a place. You can go to fortodaysagingwoman.com. Find out more. Um, I'm going to type it right here for you. You can go to the link in, in uh, my description. You can go to the link in the comment section. I'm going to do it one more time for you guys. Uh, there you go. Um, Roho, ro, 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 ro. July 22 grad, 12 weeks in. I've lost 13 pounds, pain, or 30 pounds, pain free, so much energy, going strong, 24 until 10 more pounds. My metabolic, my metabolic age is now my current physical age. Going to experiment with 18.6 after goals are met. Love you, Diane. You've helped me immensely. Yeah, for sure. And just remember if the 18.6 doesn't work, just jump right back into that 20. For sure. Virginia, when do you sign up? When you sign up for the monthly class, is there an additional charge for the mindset class after? Uh, you fit? Yes, of course, because that's a whole new program. And that's a six-month program. Braun, um, that is working a lot across Atlantic flights with differences in time zones out and back off to the U.S. How and what is the best way to leave with the intermittent fasting? Man, if intermittent fasting is the best way to bounce back from time zone changes, for sure. Um, and so I would jump into class with us. Barbara, started the 24 program with your video guidance, did well, tell company for the weekend, gave into eating foods I don't usually eat and everyone else because overwhelmed, feeling it, not liking it, joining a tumor class because I want to stop sacrificing myself for others. Yeah, for sure. You can entertain people and not eat, right? So Barbara, can't wait to have you in class. Rebecca, thank you, Diane, for all your lives. I've been watching you for a few months. Definitely need to sign up for class. I've been doing 24 and seeing results, but want to learn more in class. Yeah, so October 1st is starting this weekend. Then there's a November 4th, I think it is, class. So the first Saturday of November we're having class, and then no class in December. So if you want to get in, it's October or November, and then I'm taking a break in December. Uh, so you won't be able to take class again until January. Sign up for the October class. Started early September. Off plan on Friday, Saturday. So mad with myself. Um, well, you're going to get back on, don't, don't spend a bunch of time being mad at yourself, girlfriend, just let it go, start over and then come into class with us with a whole new mindset. And I promise you, you're going to be super excited. Cynthia, I believe in fasting. It has been used by early man. Yep. For sure. Diane, August grad feeling and looking fabulous. Now in the mindset shift class, the journey continues. So happy to have you, my friend, Angelique, I will go on holiday until September, October. When I start class, can I start a week later? You can. But you're going to, if you're going to be in class on the first, you're going to get the first week. Uh, and the second week is about the feasting part. So go for the first week so you can get the fasting part down and take that with you um, on your holiday for sure. There's the link to sign up. Marlene, September 22 grad. I may not have lost as much weight as others, but I feel better than I have in years. And I don't gain weight when I have memory making moments. Confident weight will come off in time. Weight will come off in time. You remember, just like autophagy, right? Just like our body knows what to do to get rid of things it doesn't want to have, it doesn't want to have to deal with, right? Our body doesn't want to be sick. Our body also doesn't want to carry around excess weight. So trust this is happening. Trust this is happening. Be honest with how clean you're fasting, how long you're fasting, and well, how well you're feasting. Uh, have you added in fitness? This will help as well, right? The weight will come off because your body does not want to hold on to that. Trust that. How do we get rid of cellulite in the thighs due to weight loss? Well, cellulite is not because of weight loss. You might have like crappy skin or loose skin and trust this. Last one. Good day. I'm obese. I can only walk now. Yeah, so just do this. Rinse and repeat. The obesity part will take care of itself if you let this happen for sure. I need to get back to 24. This has been inspiring. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, just jump back in. Okay. For those who are interested, this is the link to go to class. For today's agingwoman.com, find out more. You're going to put your name in to get on my email list. You're going to go to the sales page. It's going to tell you exactly what comes with class, how the class works. There's also several places there you can click to get yourself registered. Registration hard closes on September 30th at 4 p.m. Central Standard Time. If you join, and remember, it's 4 p.m. Central Standard Time. So if you're in a different time zone, do the work to figure out what the time zone difference is. I send out enough emails to remind you. Trust me, by the by Friday, you'll have enough emails to know when to get yourself signed up. If you sign up at 4.15, you cannot be mad at me because I'm telling you, 
we hard close at 4 p.m. Central Standard Time. So if you think you want to join class, don't wait till the last minute. You will be added to the November class. I won't move you. So get signed up if you know in your gut this is speaking to you. This is what you know you've been missing. You want to be part of our graduates community. You want to come back and talk about all the amazing autophagy things that are happening in your body. Don't hesitate. Just click the links. Get yourself signed up. Once you're signed up, you get the fasting guide, you get the feasting guide, and then Friday you'll be in the community. It is the absolute best. Okay, I've got to go. I've got coaching calls for the rest of the afternoon with my one-on-one clients. I love you guys. Trust this. Trust it. Jump into class with us. I promise you, you won't regret it. I will see you guys back here on Thursday or I'll see you on Instagram on a Tuesday at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. If you have any questions, always feel free to email me or message me on social media. Have a great rest of your day.